gravity separation of valuable particles from waste ore, based on differences of density, size or both, has been used in the coal and mineral industries for centuries. In 1998, Professor Kevin Galvin conceived an idea for a new approach to gravity separations that blended traditional practice with technology derived from the petroleum industry. We were uh, running two quite different research projects at the time. One was a conventional fluidised bed technology. The other was literally an inclined tube, which uh, we configured into a separator. And I needed to find a way to uh, uh, scale that into an operating system. Galvin filed a patent for the technology in 2000 and built a prototype, which he named a reflux classifier. A research and development agreement was signed with Ludowici Limited, and in 2004, the first commercial unit, the RC1800, was sold by the company to a lower Hunter Valley producer. With a, an invention, especially one that's got a whole range of very interesting attributes, it was just fertile territory to just keep exploring it. Further research led to the new RC2020 design, which was developed with Ludowici and commercialised in a remarkable 12 months. Professor Galvin called me with a breakthrough where he'd used very narrow plate spacings, and that was a eureka moment that transformed the technology. To take uh, something out of a lab and then uh, present it internationally for a whole range of different commodities, uh, you can't do anything like that on your own. Kevin's business model was based on having a partner who did have that global reach and a partner who did have the connection to market to ensure that there was quick uptake of the technology. The reflux classifier has provided the major advance in the gravity separation of these fine particles, processing up to 100 tonnes per hour of fine solids and achieving a very high-grade product. The major uh, change was the bringing together of these parallel incline plates to make them much closer together. So lower density particles would lift and go with the flow, while higher density particles would stay with the wall and slide down. After investing $1 million in a full-scale trial of the RC2020, Australian engineering company Sedgman secured an $80 million contract to build the Benga plant in Mozambique, reliant on RC2020s and a $30 million contract with BHP Billiton Mitsubishi Alliance to install six RC2020s in Queensland's Bowen Basin. The Australian industry is fairly tentative to take on new technologies, so um, getting a full-scale unit into a mine, being able to test it, um, see if it was operator-proof, uh, get some real data off it was, it was critical. As a company that has to give performance guarantees, we had to make sure that it would deliver what um, the technology provider was saying it would deliver so that we could pass those guarantees onto the clients. To date, over 60 reflux classifiers valued at $18 million have been installed, resulting in exports to eight countries, with the export revenue from Australian installations estimated at about $1.5 billion per annum. It becomes critical to have a high efficiency technology simply to be able to have a, uh, a business case that works. And so there are projects that are now going ahead purely because of access to this as a new technology that wouldn't have been viable using the technologies previously. The technology is also branching off uh, into flotation. Here we literally turn the entire system upside down because now what we're doing is processing uh, particles which are less dense than water, which are basically air bubbles. This means that we can operate with very high liquid uh, flow rates and, and uh, avoid the loss of those air bubbles out the bottom. In 2012, Ludowici became the target of a corporate takeover by F.L. Schmidt. The reflux classifier has been noted as a key strategic factor in the takeover. The development of the reflux classifier for gravity separation of minerals was entirely due to the imagination, insight and leadership of Professor Galvin, who was the sole inventor. In Kevin's case, we have a man who has that great level of uh, scientific knowledge, but also that tenacity and determination to achieve a result that others seem to flounder on. Remarkably clever man, uh, has the ability to write a very technical paper, but in interactions uh, is talking from an engineering operator's perspective. Kevin is uh, insightful, but also he is very practical. So his designs and also his uh, ideas are easily commercialised. And from that viewpoint, it's been the most worthwhile project I've ever worked on in the mineral industry. 
His consistent effort in the development of the technology, sustained over the last 20 years, has been acknowledged by numerous awards from organisations including the Australian Academy of Science and Oz IMM. His achievement, commitment to scholarship and research, and his perseverance in bringing his technology to the marketplace has seen the reflux classifier generate hundreds of millions of dollars in benefits to the Australian economy and revolutionise mineral processing around the world.